Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video I want to show you how to filter multiple columns in Microsoft Excel. Alright, so I'm working with my information. I'm on a MacBook Air using Microsoft Office 365's Excel application. If you're using a Windows PC or a Microsoft Excel on the web or a mobile device, it may look a little different, but the processes are probably the same. All right, so here I am, and I'd like to filter my first and last names, and I'd like to be able to filter my last names in alphabetical order. So what I can do is navigate to my column B and click on column B. Then under the data toolbar section, click on the data, you can go to filter. Depending on if you're on a Windows, you might have this sort to A to Z option after or before. Um, but again, I would like to sort mine in alphabetical order. Uh, you might need to click on sort in order to find that depending on your application. I'm going to click on sort from A to Z and then you'll probably get a pop-up box and it's going to ask you do you want to expand the selection or continue with the current selection. If you continue with the current selection, you do not want to do this because your last names will then go in alphabetical order and nothing else will be sorted. So Joseph Thomas on row two, uh, he will no longer be Joseph Thomas because the name on the last name B column is going to filter and Joseph will stay the same. So I'll show you what I mean. If I click continue with the current selection, notice how Joseph is going to stay the same, but my B column is going to change. That's not what I want. All right, so I'm going to go back and again, I'm going to highlight my B column. I'm going to go and sort from A to Z, depending on where your button is, you might need to click sort first. I'm going to on my computer, click sort A to Z right next to the sort. And then I'm going to expand the selection. Now you'll notice it's going to expand everything on my sheet so that way the names stay with what they need to. So you'll notice if I go down here, um, Joseph Thomas is still Joseph Thomas. Now let's say you want to sort multiple columns. What I would recommend, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. What I would recommend is using this filter option. I'm going to highlight the columns I'd like to filter. So in this case, I'm going to highlight all of the columns on my sheet. I would like to be able to filter everything. So once everything is highlighted in gray to highlight, start at the top where the A is and use your mouse to scroll over and highlight the columns you'd like to filter or sort. And then under data, click on the filter button. Now you'll notice every single column has a little drop down box and I can now filter using various methods. So I could filter by only the participants who have yes, those are there now. I could um, select everything again. I could filter um, my last names. I could go to my column B and filter um, by ascending. And there you have it. How to sort and filter columns or multiple columns in Microsoft Excel. I hope this video helped you learn. If it did, please like this video, share it out with someone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and I will catch you in the next video.